RTV6 reporter Chance Walzer joining us live right now on the city's west side with much more on the investigation and the arrest. Chance? Drew, criminal recklessness and possession of a handgun without a license. Now, those are just the felony charges now facing a 15-year-old boy. Still, neighborhood advocates in this area say violence here is becoming more the exception rather than the accepted occurrence. You wouldn't want to bring your family here. The Lafayette Square Mall is open for business today. Less than 24 hours after mall patrons got a real scare. Police pulled up here Friday evening after people called saying someone was firing gunshots inside. Mall security footage showed a thin black man in dark clothing standing in the center of the mall. He pulled out a gun and began shooting at an unknown target. The area was crowded with people, including children though the bullets injured no one. Whenever that happens anywhere, that's a, that's a sad thing. Mary Chalmers is the head of the Lafayette Square Area Coalition. She's dedicated to revitalizing this neighborhood that some say has declined in recent months. Last June, someone shot and killed two brothers outside a nearby nightclub. Then in September, a shootout at an area gun store injured one man and killed another. Those things, of course, are frustrating and they're difficult, but, you know, they're not... They're not our story. They're not what we're doing. And Chalmers says the violence stands in the face of new economic growth for the area, rebranded as an international marketplace. Businesses are moving in, she says, and the ones that are here are staying here. We are making huge progress. Sure, there's still more work to do, but um, yeah, we've, we've got a very positive story to tell. And While that tale gets told, so does the scary story from Friday night. Today, police announced the arrest of a 15-year-old boy in connection with the mall shooting. Three others were detained last night, but have since been released. The police found those three in a nearby car with a rifle in plain view in the front seat. Again, those three have been released, but the gun remains in police custody. Live on the west side, Chance Walser, RTV6. Good work, Chance.